Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim, and welcome back to This is the Police. Um, Mayor's favourite stripper found dead in his home, and a giraffe is coming to the zoo. And there's a brutal murder, so, you know. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Wow, that is always so loud. Good morning. What's the reason you've called this press conference today? I, I, I don't know. Why did I call this press conference? An important announcement. A new predator warning our streets, one who preys on young girls. I saw to tell us that the two murders have already happened in the city, and may not name the dentist as a killer. Why have you been so slow to warn the public? I'm the feds, Ben the mayor's office. I'm going to go no comment on that. I can't comment on an ongoing investigation. That's not really... <sighs> okay, but sure. And there's only one man. Can't the Freeburg City Police handle one crazy loner? Yes, your palace. Nonsense. It's not so simple. It's not so simple. The Fed's been looking into the dentist across the country for years, but hopefully in our small city you won't find it so easy to hide. Do you believe it's specifically girls who are in danger? Caution can't hurt. Because, you know, they killed, you know, one of our detectives as well. I would advise girls not to wear provocative clothing and not to overdo it with me. <sighs> That's not what I meant, you ass. Do you have any information on the identity of the killer? We have a composite sketch? Sure. White male approximately 50 years old. I sexually will share the identity kit with the press for a publication. I appeal to all residents. If you see someone like this, call the police immediately. Really? Any white male approximately 50 years old? Okay. I assume with the sketch. But still, we're going to get a load of fake calls and stuff in. I've seen the dentist. Wait, was that the entire day? Okay. Uh, sure, new trees in parks, more cutbacks on city road repair, and we release the dentist sketch. Oh yeah, the work is definitely piling on. <laughs> Truth is, if I didn't have Palmer helping me catch this psycho, I don't know what I'd do. Yeah. You know, when he got here, I... And the stuff the newspapers are saying, is it true? What are the newspapers saying? The girl who was killed. She filed a sexual harassment complaint against the mayor. What about the other victims? Were they harassed by the mayor too? Well, it, it's hard to say. Is it true? So far, the mayor's the only thing we have connecting the victims, but only one of them filed a complaint Well, I'm only hearing about this now. And she withdrew it a few days later. Someone must have pressured her, but uh, it's hard to say anything for sure. You think but this is, is important true? information? Do you think it's true? Well, let's just say it seems like it might be. What's the matter? The mayor raped me. Can you repeat that? The mayor of Freeburg, Stuart Rogers, he raped me. You heard me right. When did this happen? Four and a half years ago when I was just out of college. They gave a reception for us at City Hall. Rogers gave a speech and there were a few other speakers than dinner. I drank the champagne, it was hot out, the music was loud. I was feeling dizzy so I went to take a breath in a quiet corner. I found a conference room, then a few minutes later, the mayor came in with his guard. Rogers whispered something to the guard, and the guard left. I, I didn't have time to figure out what was going on. Rogers just walked up to me, grabbed me by the throat, and squeezed, and then he began to rape me. This went on. It lasted about ten minutes. Look, Lana, it would be very difficult to prove anything at this point, but You it... wouldn't have to prove anything. I have a videotape. A video? A recording from a surveillance camera. A cassette. The raping mayor, sitting in my closet next to Kramer versus Kramer. But how- Six months after it happened, someone slipped the cassette under my door. This was the same time the city administrator, Mary Simmons, was dismissed. Quite a scandal, if you recall. I think that must have to do with it. Lana, don't, don't worry about a thing. We'll use this tape and ambush the bastard. No, we're not going to do that. Lana, listen to me. You need it's to- It's been four years. Don't you think I've had time to think things through? I already decided I'm not pressing charges. Lana, whatever you've been thinking, I promise you, it would be better if No, you... it wouldn't be better. For the past few years, I've worked hard so that people would take me seriously. So they'd respect me as a professional. If I step forward now, I ruin all my efforts. My whole future and I'll destroy my one chance to make this city better. I'll be a sympathy case, I'll be humiliated, and then I'll be attacked. 
and the one thing I won't ever get again is respect. Lana, you're talking about covering up a crime. I'm doing it because I know it's the right thing to do. Then you're a fool! Oh my god, I, I just... I made a mistake. Just forget everything I said. Lana. L Lana! Shit. That's not how Shit. to handle that. Uh, you were reading a book? No. Detectives have to come in today. New movie opening? No. You have to come in today. My father got drunk and beat my mother again. Yeah, you can have the day off for that. People keep telling me to always say no to those. Like, oh, you should always be saying no. That's why you're losing. It's, it's not. You need to actually, you know, allow them time off or they quit. For, like, reasonable things. Let's start the day. Back in business. Do, 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 do. Where are the... Oh, for God's sake, the other ones have disappeared again. <sighs> right. City Hall. I would like an officer and a ray... No, officer and a detective. And they like me a lot. Let's see if we can get SWAT as well. Police station. Why are you at home? I swear you asked you to come in. I could have sworn I asked them to come in. Oh, did I forget? I know I just forgot. Okay. Ooh, you're really good. Let's get you. I have A shift. Could probably fire King and get in Timpson, who's better. Uh, you're old. Maybe B shift. Okay, uh, I need to also fire these two. And I need to fire Armstrong. Okay. What investigations are being led right now? Drug possession. Which is Sandstrong. Okay, let's just make sure we get extra frames at the moment. Sandstrong. So we can't fire you. We can fire Moser, we can fire Armstrong. Okay, so fire. Sorry. I need City Hall to, like, oh, for God's sake, fire illegally? And I'm not sending you to your death just so I can do that. <sighs> I don't want to fire illegally. But I have to. Okay, let's just fire one for now. Right, and I need you on B-shift. Breaking entering. The dentist is breaking to apartment. I hear him drilling through the lock. You have to hurry. I've got so few people today. I must have forgot. I must have forgot so much. Oh no! It's- oh, for God's sake! It's because yesterday was just a press conference. I couldn't ask people to come in. Oh, that's stupid. That's a bad mechanic. Because at the press conference, I didn't ask people to come in, and I couldn't replace dead cops, because there's a dead cop on the shift, which is why I'm missing an officer. That's stupid. That is very stupid. Um, it's probably a false call, so... Oh, for God's sake, really? Suspicious individual. An immigrant guest of the restaurant notices that the kitchen chief bears a striking resemblance to the dentist pictured in. Oh, for God's sake. I bet Yancy Powers won't go to it. This is what I get for releasing the photo. This is what I get. I, I, to be fair, I did ask this. This was a silly idea. People are hysterical. Breaking and entering. 
No. Now, what about you? Jack Boyd, there's a real war against stomachs happening in the city today, and there's a war we're slowly losing. I decided to open my gun shop to help lower riding citizens protect themselves. Um. Ooh. Today will be grand opening. You could use a couple of brothers officers who alert in customers by handing out flies at the mall. And I wouldn't stay in your debt. I'll give your boys some toys that will surely be useful on the job. Together we can clean. I get stuff for my people. I'm very short of officers today, but getting stuff for my people, that sounds like it might be a um, upgrade for SWAT. Crime. Harassment. Scary man with a face like the news touched her shoulder during the show. And said scary things in a strange language. I'm going to ignore that. That's probably going to be fake. Man resembling the dentist came to office for interview. He's going at me like he wants to kill me. It's exactly like the photo in the newspaper. Oh, for God's sake, it isn't. Screw it. I'm going to do the gun show. I'm not going to send King because it might be they get like an upgrade. I don't think it is. I think it'll be swapped. But just in case, because King's getting fired, I'll send Powers. Attempted robbery. Homeless man is trying to rob a hot dog cart. There we go. An actual godforsaken crime. Like, an actual honest crime. It's a really boring crime, but it's a crime. It was my man foreigner asking if the girl to be quiet during the show. Yeah, there we go. God damn it. That photo is going to haunt me. The fact I released that sketch. It was a very strange job for police officers, but oddly enough, we're very tired out and done a lot, uh, and got a lot done. And he gave us some nice guns, and you, yeah, you got an upgrade for yourself. Okay. Oh, we've got four grand, and an upgrade. Well, nice. It's a shame I can't do this one. The homeless man grabbed the money from his till and quickly disappeared. Hold her hot dog. Tempting. Um... We'll visit the homeless shelter. Oh, yeah. Innocent law student, and he was smiling strangely. It was because he was nervous about the interview. There we go. I'm so glad I released that photo. So glad. Right. Anything happening today? No. Cool. I'm I'm okay with having a you know a slow day. Any more frames? I've got some really good officers working on that. Nope. Weird graphics clicks just happened. There we go. It happened again. It's a very quiet day. Quiet. Too quiet. We're good here. We're fine. Why haven't we got five and five? Oh, because I just fired and hired yet. Yeah, and I had a death, yeah. One new frame. Yes, that's the one I needed. Dante Galpina, an old Italian who worked for his whole life in the funeral. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Library, he's a fan. He spends every three minutes there. Or, ah, you're not at work today. Okay. Public indecency. A young couple is having sex among... A number of feral tombstones are making disgusting sounds. Uh, yeah, okay, that we should send officers to that. I won't send King, because King has nothing to gain by doing that, really. Ah, oh, it's removed everyone from the case. Excellent. Because I was hoping that, just in case, right, 
if I left them on the case and then I got an event that said, send two officers now and they were busy, or send two detectives now and they were busy, then I wouldn't be able to, so I was going to free them up, but they're free. There are indeed naked young people lying among the tombstones. Shoot the criminals with a stun gun. Cough loudly. Don't move your under arrest. I'm going to cough loudly. I'm going to hit him with a stun gun. Sorry, you ran away. I gave you the chance. I gave you decency. I coughed rather than just, you know, shouting, police freeze. I coughed. And you choose to run? No, you're getting stun gun in the nads. Until the dentist is caught, you're coming in tomorrow. And it's going to really work you to the bone. But you need to be in tomorrow. Yeah, understood. Thank you very much, Walt. Sorry again for waking you Sorry, up. Give scenes. my regards to Jean. Okay, got gotta run. Hey, hey Martin, wait a minute. Martin, you still hang around with uh, Bo Berenger? Of course. In fact, he's my stepfather. Great. Think he has a couple of men available? Today? Right now, in fact? There's something important I need taken care of. Um, sure. Something you need help moving? Uh, not exactly. Here's the address. I need this house watched. All day and all night until I say stop. If anyone suspicious goes poking around, tie him up and bring him here. Um, I'll pay double the usual rate. Or triple. Whatever he needs. And nobody else knows about this, right? Jack, they're more into looking after valuables, not houses. What's the difference? Well, these guys probably wouldn't care either way. Okay, Jack, no problem. I'll make the call. As for your retirement, I've been... Uh, let's focus on today, Martin. Now keep that house secure, all right? Okay, okay. I have a phone in the car. I'll call Bo right away. I appreciate it, Martin. Believe me, I do. Hey, Jack. Yeah? Anything else I need to know about this? Uh, no. Better you don't. Hello? I'm an addict. Please, I don't want- Listen to me, Lana. R I really am an addict. For 20 years now, give or take. I've been lying to myself that I'm in control of the situation, and sometimes it really seems like I am, but sometimes in the more desperate moments, I become completely dependent on the pills. And it's just dumb luck that I haven't killed myself. Or someone else. More than a few times, I've come pretty close. I've been stoned while I'm driving, was even stoned once during a firefight. I've been on drugs while I made decisions where dozens of lives were on the line. When I'm overworked, I need the pills. That's my problem. It's my weakness. But I always knew that if I admit my weakness, that if I start talking about the problem publicly, if I go to rehab, then I'm already as good as retired. They'll take advantage of the scandal and get rid of me forever. It doesn't matter all the good work I'm trying to do at the police department. They'll just bury me. So I'm keeping my problem a secret, at least until I can retire. I have to. I know it's the right thing to do. You realize, Jack, this is the first time you ever called me? What? You called me this time. I thought you were just waiting for me to stop bugging you, but now you called me and you opened up, even though you didn't have to. <laughs> Maybe you're stoned? What? I... <laughs> no, I'm not stoned right now. Well, Jack, I guess you need me as much as I need you. I need you more than you need me. Now I know you're stoned. Lana, I'm... You were... I heard everything you said, Jack. I understood everything just fine. You don't need to say anything else. Right, exactly. Say no more. Yay! Okay. Please serve one of the avalanche of false dentist leads. It's okay, I just didn't go to them. Dentist spreading panic among citizens and residents jumping at shadows. Pretty much. 
Oh. The police station don't like me as much. What happened there? Oh, because I fired people. That would be why. Okay. Uh, but we're going to call it there for this episode. If you've enjoyed, please do like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. And next time, we'll find out how the dentist continues and whether we'll manage to fire all the people we need to fire. Until then, though, stay shiny.